And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino, it's showtime! On both sides, so anything thrown on the upper half will be considered okay. Anything on the lower half, no. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. All right, here we go. This fight is underway. Kenny Bayless in charge in the white trunks. This is Brandon Rios, former lightweight champion of the world. Kenny Rios, Rios. Fort Mandalay Bay. I'm the Colonel Bob Short. I'm glad we're with you, a Russian type fighter. And Danny knows that, so he wants to hold him off with a jab as much as he can. Robert Garcia, who has the Jim and Ox down, and that's the with the train. Power shot that time. Danny working downstairs pretty good. Danny Garcia in the red and black, a little bit of white trim. No trouble making 147. Guy with the tattoos. This real is trying to pick up the action a little bit more now. For all the work. Nothing landed there. Rio sets up in front of him. Not uh, using a lot of head movement. So then back upstairs, he's got to see him back on the ropes again. And Rio's putting the pressure on him, but it's Danny that's landing the punches. Thanks to the job moving on his feet. Circles to his left, back to his right. He's bad Rio's landing a couple of punches. He finally landed the salt. Rio's with his back to the ropes now, coming forward. Constantly comes forward. Danny stops, plants, and unloads the right hand. 46, 45 seconds to go, and this is the third round of the fight. Real slanted enough. Planted to two solid right hands in it. Kenny Bellis, the third man in the ring, doing his usual. Real, he ends up paying for it. Just a little bit wide, and Garcia's uh, just a little bit tighter. See, Rios trying to force the fight. Garcia, well, he got hit with a nice straight left jab that time, and right down to the body. But look at the jabs of uh, Song. Upstairs, downstairs. Brandon Rios really working hard in this round. And decided that, you know, it would be good for him to try one more time. He said, I'll support you, whatever you do. Garcia with the accuracy and the speed of his punch is just slightly winning. Nice straight right hand by Garcia. Trying to keep the pressure on Danny Garcia. He's a heart of pros and ticket him beneath the head of the body. Lance. Brandon who Fourth and seesaw battle goes. He plays a little bit with wide of punch. It's a hard right hand inside the kitchen. Rios. Good action packed fight. This is a really good round of boxing. Keith Thurman, of course, holds the uh, WBA and WBC championship. Rios doing all he can do. Danny Garcia, by the way, is a prohibitive favorite coming in. Too. Some real good shots, Rios in the fight. As I say that, Garcia comes back and lands his combination of punches. Slinging right hand, solid accuracy with his punches. Much more under control. See, they, everything lands someplace. Up, up. That's a little bit low. You hear Kenny Bailey say, up, up, that right hand whistled past the nose of Brendan Rios. Left hand didn't whistle past Danny Garcia. And the right hand, and he loaded up that time. Garcia landed some real good punches at the end. I was going to say, don't think much of Horn, and I tell you, I broadcast all his fights. This kid can fight. Big on Danny. Danny Garcia fights off the ropes this time. Reels trying to keep the pressure on him, and he'd rather give to uh, Brandon Reels. 
that was nothing clean. Body shot was clean. And back upstairs, Brendan keeps the pressure on Garcia. Nothing for Jeff. And a hard shot that time. For all the work that Rios is doing. Spins ahead with the left hook again. Rios keeps the pressure on him, tries to come in. Giving it to Brandon Rios again. Yeah, good shots that time. Boxing. He's been in every single round, but just the accuracy of the punches and the flip. Brandon Rios in the white. Danny Garcia, the former two time world champion in two weight divisions. One for making weight at 140, no problem at 147. At 147, Rios was at his best as a lightweight, but had trouble. The accuracy of punches has been superior. Straight right hand landed by Rios. Again, that's the way Garcia's fought most of the fight. He's outscoring Brandon Rios in this round. And this is exactly the way he's going to land something upstairs to get the eyes of the judges. And the shackle way Garcia needs to fight this guy. Fight from the outside. Punch shot, shot landed by Garcia. That's the accuracy of punches that Danny's had throughout the course of the game. Punch, it seems, that Brandon Reels lands. Danny Garcia lands two or three. Got to take an effect on Brandon. We're in the eighth round. Oh, Garcia lands that one. And he tells uh, Garcia, keep him up. Rios catches him. Anytime that Rios catches him at all, the crowd. Oh! Right hand. Look at that hand speed of Gasak for Brandon Rios. Brandon's been in with the best, and he didn't want to pull around. He wants to get back, right back in with the big money shots. Hello? Brandon Rios has got to do something. Start pushing this guy around. I think Brandon's ready to do something. Garcia hooks him with a body shot. But Rios has got some sort of second win right now, and he's trying to keep the pressure on him. I'm roughing him up with something to turn this thing around. And did no cuts. Nice slick move that time by Garcia, stepping to his left and then back. Brandon with the overhand right. Blast it to the body. And work out of it. Oh, down goes! Whoa, that's a hard knockdown for Brandon Rios. Now, I don't think he can recover from this. It's up to six and seven. His legs aren't going to be there. This fight's going to be all over. I don't think Brandon can continue. Come. No, no. It's all over. He said come forward, and he can't continue. What a knockout. A right hand by Danny Garcia. Caught Rios right. Fuck. Wow. Some shot. Brandon Rios was tattooed. Kenny didn't rush at all. He gave him every chance, but he's still out on his feet. And obviously, Kenny Bayless did the right thing in stopping this fight. Most of the punches were landed by Garcia through the course of the fight. And now guys like Keith Thurman are saying, hmm, maybe this guy can be a little bit more dangerous than I thought he was. Danny Garcia, the guy everybody wants to fight, certainly has moved himself into contention in the 147-pound division after winning titles at 140 and 147. His only loss was to Keith Thurman. That was a sensational ninth-round KO victory for Garcia. We'll show you a couple of angles uh, of the fight uh, ending right away. Watch the right hand. Slinging left. Look at that. His hand was down, and man, did he clip him with that right hand. At that stage, I didn't think Brandon would even be able to do this in terms of getting up. He's kind of just waltzing in and just in the exact right position. And again, the hand speed was perfect. It was one of those knockouts where he snapped the head. Your brain goes from crashing from the left side of your skull to right there just a clean that is you won't see a cleaner knockout shot than that Rios didn't clear that kill zone and was standing with his left shoulder down 
right in front of him and Garcia didn't miss. Get a shot at title. Here's Jimmy Lennon. And we have the time of two minutes, 25 seconds. And round number nine, a referee in charge, Kenny Bayless, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, Danny Swift Garcia. So Danny Garcia officially a TKO as Jimmy announced at 225 of the ninth round.